Hi, it's Tash from Fox and Brand Best Tarot, and today is day 19 of Ethany's 31 Days of Tarot, and the prompt is which deck gives you the heebie jeebies. Now, this is going to be a really short video because I don't have any decks in my collection that give me the heebie jeebies, mainly because if I feel like they would, I would not buy them. So, I would definitely be avoiding decks that have a lot of gore. Uh, and anything that is gratuitous so that would like freak me out anything really horror themed and I'm not talking about soft horror like I love the quirky horror ones like I love Deviant Moon for example I, I don't find it's a scary deck at all I actually find it's quite a rounded and balanced deck um, and the only decks the other really that give me heebie-jeebies and the only cards within decks that give me heebie-jeebies um, are any cards with snakes on them particularly realistic looking snakes or snakes that are kind of rearing up with their mouths open or anything like that i have a severe snake phobia and so if it's an oracle card i actually just chuck out the snake card i throw it out i have no qualms about doing that because i won't use the deck with it in there because i'll be terrified i'm going to pull it and if it's a tarot deck with a scary snake on it, I won't buy it. I literally will not buy it. I could love every single other card in that deck and I will not buy it because I don't want to throw out a tarot card because it would compromise the integrity of the deck. And But at the same time, I wouldn't want it in there. And so beautiful decks, for example, like the Wild Unknown. I love her art style and I love her Oracle deck art style. And I like, for example, there's a lamb card in that, the little lamb. And it's like, oh my gosh, I want this deck so badly. There's too many snakes in it. Um, there's no way I can buy that deck. Anyway, so that's pretty much what gives me the heebie-jeebies. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Bye.